Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Matt from Rocky's War Room, and I'm joined by Not Jay and Warmut, and we're going to play something a little bit different tonight. This is Savage Core by Lucid Eye Publications. It is a 28 millimeter pulp adventure game, and we're going to get right into it. There's our intro. <laughs> so this is Pulp uh, <coughs> Madness. This is um, Savage Core from Loose Eye Publications. Matt. Yes. I, I saw a distinct uh, skew towards the Morlocks being shown, and uh, I have a distinct uh, aversion to that. Okay. So next time, more monkeys. I I'm <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this is Savage Core by uh, Loose Die Publications, and we have roughly a four by three ish board here with a lot of terrain. Uh, all terrain does is blocks line of sight for the most part, uh, and is an obstacle. So if you reach the terrain, you can hop over it, but it's going to cost you one inch. If you're going up one, it's going to cost you one two inches to go up uh, upgrade. If you're moving through big woods like this over here, um, that would be two inches per movement. Uh, now the yellow spots, the shock we know from uh, uh, Wiley Games, these are uh, sunstones. And your the objective of this scenario is for your guys to grab as many sunstones as possible. One victory point will be scored for each sunstone that is collected on the board itself. Now, I'm not going to tell you how many are out here, but let me tell you, it's possible for one person to completely grab, get significantly amount of more or less. So uh, just keep that in mind for this scenario. Now, Savage Core is a real simple game. Uh, there's uh, your figures here. These are the core locks. Over there on that edge, over there, that'll be north. This will be south. Never eat soggy waffles. Oh, there it goes. The, I just lost that. <laughs> waffles. <laughs> just to finish my sentence. Uh, put that there. So uh, northeast, southwest. Uh, and uh, those are the simians over there. And every, every each team has a leader. The Corlox leader is right here. Uh, and his name is Gog Maggotlot, the Maw. And then, huh? No, go ahead. And the guy oh, oh, the, on the other side over there, the Simeons, what's his name? Thinking Brow? Not Jay? Yes. Thinking Brow. And his, you know, horde of Simeons over there. Uh, I think you actually have too many over there. I think you get eight, and I've got nine sitting over there. So I'm going to have to take a couple of those off there, Nache. No, no, no. no. It, it has to do with the number of photos of the Morlocks in comparison. Oh, give me a break. I mean, get off of it. Anyway, <laughs> let me let me keep going. So you have the Simeon's leader. He's the one with the feather in his hat. Uh, you have to know where he is at all times because he has command radius. His command radius is 12 inches all the way around him. If you're, As long as your guys stay within 12 inches of your leader, they can move freely as much as they want. Now, if they're outside of the 12 inches, you're going to have to make a uh, guts check at a 1. So your guts goes from a 3 to a 1, and you roll a d10, and add it to that 1. Is If it's an 8 or better, you can move outside of his range. But if not, if you fail that gut check, you cannot move at all. Uh, sit, sit still, Wormut. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, 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 all right. All right. So uh, oh, they all they all have stats. They have Moxie, which is their initiative, and also the stat they use for ranged combat. There's Smarts, which is o only used on the leader. There's Tick, which is their life points. Would that's their health? Actually, it would probably help if I showed the card. Would it not, not Jay? Yeah. Yes. I gotta you got to get the angle of the dangle right. <laughs> uh, actually, I've got another camera that I can look at the card at. And yeah. I'll explain it again. Multiple cameras. Age of miracles. Come on, <laughs> chop, chop. Can you guys see that okay? Yeah. Can you read it? So, yep. All right. So that is... Gog the Maggot Maw, he has a Moxie, which is initiative and used in ranged combat. Smarts was his intelligence, it's used for his special abilities mostly. Uh, tick, which is his life. Guts with his is his strength. I'm sorry, no. Um, uh, what was his guts again? Courage. Courage, that's right. So that's like their courage. Um, the guts is the role that you would make to be able to move if you're outside command range. Uh, buff is the stat you use in close combat. Clip is their move. So you'll, if you're anytime you have to reference or roll for a stat, you roll it one d10 and add these numbers to that d10 roll for a final result. And you have bods, which are all your other guys. Um, the Corlocks have these. They're called bods. They're your kind of your army. A minimum Corlock force is composed of six bods. So there's six dudes here. Um, and they have, they don't have a smarts uh, stat on them. Then you have a series of cards that your leader has that he can use as one time use oh, special cool. abilities. The flag store. What? The flag store. Yeah. Uh, so you have a, something called a mob scene. And your mob scene has a minimum required smart score. So that means that you have to roll a D10 on your smart and get that score or higher in order to do the mob scene. And a mob scene is a trick that you can do or a spell you can do or a special ability you can do that affects everyone in your, uh, in your war band. You have to have a minimum required amount of figures still on the table. So... If you have three guys left and the leader, he cannot do his mob scene. Okay. Then you have hero surges. And hero surges are special abilities that usually target your hero uh, and, and, and make and buff your hero. Then you have relics, and relics are like a fly storm, something they can make happen on the table. Okay. And uh, those are the abilities. They're all one-time use. Now, those are the core lock ones. There's also some simian ones, which you'll see during the game, like going bananas and things like that. So it's just a fun, pulpy game. Uh, and I will have all their cards laid out so I can keep track of them as well uh, right here. So now to attack, everyone, if you're within eight inches of one of an enemy, you can you can do a ranged attack, and a ranged attack is taking your moxie and a d10 roll against their moxie and their d10 roll, and whoever's highest, if it's the target, he's gonna he's gonna uh, miss the, the shooter's gonna miss. If it's the shooter who's highest, they're going to take uh, a wound or a hit, and then there's another phase where we resolve what happens with that hit. So sequence of play is where you guys are going to roll a D10 each. You're going to add your moxie to the D10. That's the initiative phase. If you roll the same exact number on a D10, bad things happen. Okay. And bad things, which I'm not going to give them away because they're always fun when you don't know, are these double trouble cards. So these are random events that could happen to the board or bring somebody on to wreak havoc or lava swarms to make the table smaller. So that's if in the initiative phase, you guys roll the same exact number and it's a tie. And then 
after the double trouble, the, the next phase is going to be dealing with the double trouble if there is one. And the third phase, if there's no double trouble, is the tricks phase, which you will be uh, the initiative player, whoever won the initiative, even in a tie, uh, will get the, whoever has the highest moxie in a tie is going to be the head of the initiative. The player with the initiative is going to choose one of his tricks to do if he wants to. If he doesn't, he'll pass to the player who doesn't have initiative. If he wants to play one of his tricks, he may do so then. If neither one of you want to do, we move on to the uh, close-ranged fire uh, phase where the initiative player will shoot if he can. If he doesn't have any more shoots, then it'll pass to the non-initiative player. If he doesn't have any more shooting actions, then we'll go into close com or movement. I'm sorry. We go movement, close-ranged combat, then close combat. Then there's the results phase. So if you've taken any hits in the very last phase of the game, uh, if you you'll roll on a chart and find out what happens. Now this sounds more complicated than it really is. Trust me, this is a very simple game and it's fun. So uh, <laughs> grab some popcorn or a paintbrush and check it out. Oh, yeah, you'll see some mayhem happen tonight, and it's going to be the most random thing you will ever see in your entire life. I guarantee it. it is the most fun, ridiculous game I've ever played in my entire life. <laughs> so that should tell you something about that. Uh, so, Nache, tell us about your symbi simian thinking brow uh, by reading the text, since this is one of those games where it's pulpy and tells a story. Tell us about Thinking Brow. Thinking Brow, the simian leader, Thinking Brow, is the ruler of the simian apes. It's a little redundant. Uh, he stands upright, is thoughtful and cunning, but is nonetheless capable of savagery. Thinking Brow's age is unknown, but his scars bear testament to his long years. Like all simians, Thinking Brow is enamored by shiny trinkets. <laughs> All right. My Vinny monkey Wormut. is a magpie. <laughs> <laughs> Vinny Wormut, tell us about Gog, Maggot Lot the Mall. Gog, Maggot Lot the Mall. The chief maggot of the Corlocks was hatched in the bowels of the earth, in the nest known as the Iron Forest. Born to lead the hatchlings, Gog drove his hordes across the frozen sea to the east as the light of the sunstones cooled and became dim. Taking residence in Drone Mound, Gog and his faction bred profusely, spreading west like a plague. Gog's ambition is unlimited, and he hates all living things, including Rocky's war room, his underlings. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now tell us about your bods or your uh, minions that you carry with us, with you. And then, Anache, yours after that. My bods, huh? My bod. Anyways, uh, Corlocks are as lonesome. <laughs> Corlocks are as loathsome, loathsome as their appearance suggests. They live amongst heaps of bones and trash. They dislike all forms of light and see well in the dark with their glinting eyes. Their flesh is a pale stone blue, and their thin hair is drained of all color. The Corlocks possess a singleness of purpose, which is to survive by feeding and swarming on that jake. <laughs> All right. Well, hi, mine. Not Jay. Tell us about the your bods. The simian bods make the steaming jungle their home. Their origins stretch ages past on a twisted path which leads to the outside world. Amazing. So we are in the territory of the simians the corlocks are and the simians uh roscoe one of their buddies uh stole a bunch of sandstone uh, sunstones and placed them throughout the forest so they could see at night the simians well the corlocks uh the keeper of the sun, uh, sunstones come out from underground and are really pissed off they want their sunstones back now, the simians are going to try to collect as many sunstones as they can to keep, and the Corlocks are going to try to commit, uh, collect back the sunstones that Roscoe, the monkey, simian, uh, has stolen from the Corlocks. So that is our story. We have it. Now, this X right here, fellas, 
okay? If you get a Sunstone back to your X, it's worth two victory points. If you're holding and carrying a Sunstone or take one at the end of the game and it has not got back to your X, or if lava comes in or something effect, you can't get back to your X, you still score one victory point for each one of these Sunstones that you hold, okay? There's no hindrance to movement. Oh, it fits in your pocket. They're so small, but they're very, very bright, okay? And picking it up, you cannot pick it up in the middle of a movement. You have to stop, and when you stop, you pick it up. Is that understood? You guys got it? Yeah. You ready to play? Any questions? Uh, those will be asked during the game. Good deal. <laughs> <laughs> I just I, I want to get into the game and figure it out as we go. Sounds good. Yeah. On the fly. And the original Grognard is with us. Hello, sir. And uh, let's get the show in the world, shall we, fellas? All right. Okay, so the first thing we do is roll for initiative. You both have a D10, correct? Yeah, just we just need one D10? One, uh, two D10 probably, but just one D10 is fine for now. Okay. And, and this is against our moxie, correct? Of yes. Our you're, going, you're going to roll one D10, add your moxie. Whoever has the highest <clears throat> of the sum or the highest sum is going to have the initiative. If you roll doubles, you need to tell, or if you roll the same, you need to tell me as well. I need to oh, Jay, you better not roll a seven. I rolled a seven. I did not roll a seven. All right, good. I rolled a 10. That's cool. Ooh. So, so Thinking Brow has a moxie. 17 total. And what is yours? Where am I? For the, the moxie on the bods, right? No, on your leader. Oh, the leader on the moxie is five, so it'll be 12. 12. So, Nache, you have the initiative, which you liked to perform a trick. Um, Probably not right off the bat, but... No, no. You know. It'll it'll be there. Okay. Uh Warmut, would you like to perform a trick? Heck yeah, man. The fly storm. The fly storm. All right. Where uh well my question is how far away can I place it or just anywhere on the board? Or? Uh it's a read it what it says. Fly storm. An area effect composed of a swarm of flies is placed upon the board. The area consists of a four inch diameter. From the point of oh point of choice, mm -hmm. this effect lasts all game, and anyone entering or caught within this area, including moi, me, Gog, and his core locks, must roll on a on the conflict results table immediately. Okay, yeah, that's so. If you if if for whatever reason, it's a four inch in diameter, so it's four inches yeah. by four inches, right? So anybody walking through into around. Yep. Or uh, in inside that area is going to have to roll on the uh, conflict results table, which is the ranged table, I believe. So that's good. So four inches by four inches, right? So I should have thought this out a little bit better. But what we're going to do, uh, we're going to take your fly storm card, and we're going to make a four inch by four inch area with two cards for the fly you storm. You mean you don't have my fly storm ready? Okay, this is your fly storm. Where would you like to place it? Well, I could probably end the game real quick. Put it right in front of the group. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, I don't think it says point of choice, but no, let's not do that. That's a, <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, put it uh, right by uh, that, that right by you, the north, which is going to okay. be your top screen. Right here. Uh, bring it back. And then go towards you. Keep going towards you. There you go. And then go up just a little bit. This way? Up, up. This way? There you go. Go ahead and throw it right there, man. Right there? Yeah. Okay. There is a swarm of flies right there. <sighs> Speaking of which, I need to get... Now, that's there the whole game, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that right there to note that that's the fly storm. And that stays there the entire game unless something gets rid of it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So he played a trick. He does not. You, you have the initiative for movement, not Jay. So for your movement, you have to roll 1d10 and you add that to your, to your boss's clip and your bod's clip when you move. 
All right, so I rolled an eight. Eight, okay. So all your bots are going to move at a 12 and a 13 for your leader. And your leader is right here. Oh, and I got to get rid of a couple of you. 12 and 11. Four. Four. What's that? I missed what you said. 12 and 11. I have four and three for my move, for my clip. Oh, I'm looking at him. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, four and a three. Okay. So your leader is right here. Okay. And you have four and four. Okay. And I do all of my movement first? Yes. You do okay. all your movement first, and then he will do all of his movement. I am going to send my leader. Okay. Thinking brow. All right. To the orb, the sunstone. Right here? That, nope. Here? Yes. Okay. You can pre-measure at any time. So that is nine inches away. That gets him there. Yes, it does. <clears throat> hey, Matt, do they all move as a group or just you can move them once, one per? You can move them as a group. You can move them together. You can move them one at a time. It doesn't matter. Now, the mods, do they stay together or can they go their separate ways? The bods? Yeah. Yeah, the yeah they, they can move individually or together. It doesn't matter. Oh, cool. But remember, so, you have a 12-inch radius. Right. So what you did here, Nache, is he now, these two guys over here are out of your 12 inch radius. Okay. That's fine. Okay. You got to, you got, in order for them to move, they'll have to make a guts check. Yeah. I'll get that. Okay. <clears throat> the, uh, the one group of mods that are closest to him, these four? Yeah. Okay. The two closest to him are going to okay. scamper up that hill to that other sunstone. This one here? Yep. All of them? The two closest to him. These two? Correct. Okay. Well, that's going to be five inches, six inches, seven inches to the hill. So that's seven. Uh-huh. Eight. Uh huh. And you have that sunstone. Yep. All right. The other two. Hurry up, man. <laughs> <laughs> that group of mods are going to go through the little uh, little uh, hedgerow there. These two? Yep. No, no, no. The, uh, the other two from that one group. Yep. Okay. They're going to go to the sunstone through the trees there. All right, that's going to be pretty easy to do. Make yeah, sure stop. they're within 12 inches of the leader. Well, what, where, from where they started, yes. Well, from next turn also. Uh, no, they are not. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to have to move him back. All right. Uh, no, only <clears throat> the guy. He can move here. All right. Now he's in. Okay. Now, explain to me again what the X <laughs> the X is besides the start point. Uh, that's where you that? If you bring the sunstone to the X point... Okay, you get two victory points for every one cashed in. It's your okay. hiding your hiding place, basically. Okay, and he can destroy your hiding place and steal right. one d ten okay. of sunstones from there if he gets there. Okay, so what I want to do is the two guy, the two uh, of the the last mod, the two that are the the closest to the X. Uh, just move them to the other side of the X. All right. Okay. And then now I'm going to roll my guts check for my mods. It's a guts one because you're outside of his range. So one plus your die roll and you got to get an eight or better. I got a six. So they're just sitting there with, you know, flinging just poo at each other. Flinging poo at each other. <laughs> all right. That's all your movement. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> More of Sir. Take one of any one of those guys to get to that closest sunstone by that gate, fence, whatever that thing is. Yeah, you got to roll first, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I got an eight. All right. So your bods move at 12, right? Uh, bods move. Oh, crap. What was the move? 12 and 13. So your boss moves 13, and your core locks move at a 12. So... <clears throat> what would you like to do? Move this guy to the, to the thing? What do you want to do? 
Yeah, uh, take one of them to that closest one by the gate, fence, whatever. Got it. Yeah. Now, when they're on it, they automatically got it, right? They don't have to. Yeah, yeah. They they just they okay. they picked it up. Take uh, take another one because mm. you can move these individually, right? Yep. Take another one to the ones in front, please, sir. Okay. Oh crap! That one over in the far corner is going to be out of reach. What about now? It's a minus what? Two inches in the heavy terrain there? Or? Uh, in the woods. Yeah, in the woods. Mm -hmm. You got a sand, you got a sunstone here. And you yeah, got am I still going to be in twelve inches for that one in the woods? Okay, so it's two inches movement per one inch. So basically, mm -hmm. he would move two inches. Then this would be. Uh, uh, four inches would be one inch in. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I'm not going to be able to. All right. Um, golly. Um, how far is it? We might as well pick up that one on the far corner there, down down below there. Here? Yeah, but he has to stay in a 12-inch radius. Or that is correct. And right now, if he does that, he's within it. 12 okay. is, I'll show you. 12 is right here. Oh, awesome. Yeah, get one. Take a... <clears throat> now, on the south of that table there, oh, cool, 12 inches almost goes over there, huh? Um, south, south end over here? Where? where the heavy woods are. Is there is there a pathway around that on the south part of that? Right here? Yeah, I can't see the whole table. I just... Yeah, you can go right here. And Okay, go for it. I mean, Please. this is all around. Oops. Okay, it does go around. Ah, and there's oh. one right there, too. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Now, do I have to move all these guys? or? You don't have to move everybody, no. All right. Well, put one with, uh, and then put, uh, yeah, go ahead and put them, uh, a next one with each one of them, please. Uh, so him here. Yeah, there you go. Him here. You got it. And him here. You got it. I'm done. Okay. That's movement. And so ranged combat, anything with an eight, eight inches? Nothing. Uh, in your movement phase, you could do something called a rush. And what a rush is, if you're within six inch of some six inches of somebody, you make a die roll. What was it? Uh, uh, not Jay. Was it Moxie? I can't yeah, because it's your luck. Uh, Isn't it? Or is it courage? It's one of the two. The rush is a special form of movement. A figure must instead already within range to rush. A player must roll to the guts score of at least 10 courage. for a successful rush. So it's courage. So you have to roll a D10 plus, plus your guts <clears throat> and roll at least a 10 or higher in order to rush. If you do so, if you're within six inches of somebody, if you do so, you get a plus two during close combat. It's kind of like charging. So there's no range combat. There's no close combat. So we start with initiative phase again. So both of you roll a d10 and add your moxie. And if it's doubles, let me know. No, I got a one. Guess oh, what? You didn't roll. We're going to have something eat us. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> All right. It's a special double trouble phase. So anytime uh, two, uh, two players roll the same number uh, for their, their moxie check, the person who has the highest moxie is going to have the initiative during the turn. That would be me. Which yeah, is the Simeon. But we go through a special double trouble phase. Okay. Now, these are all the possible double troubles, and I may have to get some models to represent it. It's going to be a freaking monster. So we're going to shuffle these. You guys are seeing me shuffle. Just there's no monkey business. Uh -huh. uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Shut it. There we go. Yeah. All right. I'm going to set this down, and the top card is going to be drawn. Zachary Gone Native. All right. So I will read this card and set those over there. What so, Zachary are we doing? 
The fearsome Zachary enters the map. Zachary attempts to gain an army of bods to follow him. Oh, Zachary sure. enters the map on the eastern side <clears throat> of the board, oh, directly you. in line with the middle of the playing surface. He has placed 1d10, his clip stat, which is on the card, mm -hmm. away from the edge of the board, displacing figures one inch if necessary. It is quite possible for Zachary to fall immediately down into sinkholes, down in a sinkhole. Uh, at the start of phase two, the tricky customer phase, on every turn, while Zachary is on the board, he uses his vast charismatic presence. Each player will roll a d10 to decide if Zachary has taken the bod under his control. If a player rolls a one or two, then the nearest bod with, will be removed immediately. If a player rolls a 3 through 10, then their bods remain under the player's control for the round. Until this process is repeated in the next turn in Phase 2. Zachary's effect will take place every turn until he is slain by any player. Zachary's power has no effect on bosses. He will stay stationary until killed, yet will move into conflict with the nearest target if engaged. Either close or ranged conflict. Zachary, of course never really dies. He will reappear in the next thrilling installment of a Savage Core game. So I have to get Zachary. He has a list of stats. His moxie is one. His health is a four. His guts is a 10. His buff is a seven. And his clip, his movement is a two. So let me get Zachary here. Hang on. So the only thing is he's slow, right? Yep. Good grief. Uh, I'll have to use a model to re represent Zachary. So Zachary will be this cool dude right here. So he's going to go. I need one of you guys. <laughs> what? Farther away from me now. Uh, 1d10, his clip stat away from the edge of the board. So his clip is a two. I need a d10 roll from one of you guys. I got it. Do it. A 10. A 10. So he moves 12 inches from the eastern edge in the exact center of the board. So we'll determine that now. Right, right in that canal area there, huh? With those edges. Right here. Yep. All right. And he will move 12 inches. So he will be, oh, God, right in the middle of this. You son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, so that I ain't that. getting it. Nobody's getting it. <laughs> okay, so this is what needs to happen now. Uh, we roll for initiative. Now we're in the tricky customer phase. Before we do anything else, Zachary is going to try to influence one of your guys to join his cause. Oh, dear. So you got to roll a d10 for yeah. each one of your guys. On a one or two, he takes one of your guys. Uh, on a uh, anything else, they stay with you. So. Who had the initiative? I do. You do? Yeah. Why don't you roll first? It doesn't affect your bosses. The two guys on the hill, the first one up top that has the sunstone. I'm rolling what or better to? Uh, anything but a one or two. Got a three and a four. So those guys are good. The two guys standing by the X. I got a four and a four. All right. The two guys on this side of the hedge. An eight and a six. All right. The last two. A nine and a nine. Nobody has fallen under the influence of Zachary. Of course not, because oh. <laughs> he's got Zachary zero appeal. <laughs> he has zero. Zachary zero, zero appeal. appeal yeah. yeah, yeah, I got that. <laughs> okay, so you people suck. <laughs> All right. Oh, so, uh, uh, Dave Hall says happy late greetings. Happy what? Late greetings. Oh, hey, David, you're never late. You're always on time. All right. Go ahead. Warm up for these two. Oh, crap. Anything for one or two? I got an eight and a six. Okay, you're good. Next two up here. You son of a biscuit. One of them's going. I got four. <laughs> the two. What, these two? I got four and a two, so one of them's going. All right, you need to make a random roll. The guy with the sunstones a one through five. This guy is a six through <clears> ten. <throat> ah, it's a seven. Okay. 
So one through five, seven. This guy. Oh, Zachary, you're all right. He's out. <laughs> all right, yeah. Another, another two. These two. War one at a time. Roll the run in front. Uh, ten. Okay, he's fine. This one here. Uh, six. Okay, they're fine. So so far, we've had only one fall into Zachary's suave talking to. And he's gone for good, right? No, <laughs> he stays no. on the board till he's killed. No, I'm talking about the guy that I lost. He's gone. Oh no, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, he's, okay. he's been swayed away from the core locks. Okay, okay, so now it's tricky customer. Now, Jay, would you like to do one of your special ability cards? Um. Um, you know what? Uh -oh. Um, here come the pain. <laughs> Let's get it going, man. I think we're gonna do fingers. 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 Okay, it's a hero surge. <clears throat> Thinking brow steals something from an enemy boss. One, through one to three, something shiny but useless. A four through ten is an active relic. On a smart score of ten, Thinking Brow figures out how to use it as his own in the same turn or at any point in the game. If he fails the roll, it is still no longer available to the enemy player. The enemy player chooses which relic he or she loses. <laughs> oh, I got a relic for you, pal. Wow, that's that's pretty that's pretty good, not Jay. Mister, right. I'm gonna put a fly swarm out in the middle of the table. First <laughs> round. <laughs> All right, not Jay, make your roll. Eight. Eight. So that is an active relic that goes away. Mm -hmm. I don't figure out how to use it, but he, he can't just, use it either. Goes away. Mm -hmm. Which so, one are you losing there, Chuckles? He has a cloak of night or the thigh bone. <laughs> and, uh, let me, hold on, let me read the thigh bone here. Okay. Yeah, and the one you're getting rid of, please read the description of what it does for dramatic effect. I know, hold on. Shh. <laughs> cloak of night. You know what? Yeah, let, no, because I, yeah, get rid of the thigh bone. Take thigh bone. bone. Thigh bone. You, what does the thigh bone do? Because uh, I like that cloak of night. That's what's going to be. Uh, thigh bone. Gog may use his buff stat of six as the amount of close conflict attacks he can have for this turn. This trick may be used every turn, but every time it is used, Gog's buff stat is reduced for the duration of the game by two. That's why I'm getting rid of it. When his buff stat reaches two, this trick can no longer be used. Gog may use tricks as normal in subsequent rounds in addition to be, to benefiting from the lingering effects of this relic. Okay, that's bye-bye. Yeah, I want. <laughs> All right, tricky customer done. Now movement. Go ahead and roll your D10s for your oh, movement. Yeah, we're still okay. Uh, whoever has initiative. Crap, you better not have a one again. No, no, no. Just this is this is whoever has initiative for their. Oh, that's, that's not Jay. Okay. Not Jay. All right, I'm moving like a slug this turn. Okay. What'd you uh, roll? A one. A one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, sucks, dude. <laughs> we're going to uh, move everybody back <clears throat> to, toward the X. Okay. Uh, we're going to start with uh, my boss. We're going to start with Thinking Brow. He moves five. So he'll get to here. Okay. Now everybody's within the radius again. Yep. Okay. Or orders of operation matter. <laughs> yeah. All right. The and guys up on the hill, they're going to move. Okay. Where the, how far are they just going to move? They're going to move the maximum maximum four speed they, maximum they can go. Yes, four inches. All right. I'm just going to get them right at the bottom of the hill here. So going down the hill costs the uh, extra. Inch. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. That's Through why the freeze. I, that's why I put them in there on the hill because it costs. Yeah. yeah no. No. I get that. No. I understand. Right. But going down the hill shouldn't be. 
Oh, uh, you're going down the hill. I don't know why I even did that. You're right. Okay. I was just. You're right. I'm I mean, wrong. if that's the way it was, that's the way it was. But No, no. I, I You're going downhill. Dude. All right. Cost to go up, nothing to go down. Okay. Okay. Um, get them through the trees. These guys here? Yeah. Okay. Now, they that are should be dun, da, da, da. Bing, bing. You put one in the bank. Okay. And then the two dudes hanging out at the end there? Uh-huh. Hoist their hineys closer to the X. All right. About three inches. There we go. Okay. That's all your movement. Now for the warm-up. Roll your die, warm-up. You're muted if you are muted. What happened to the mutt? Who knows? Mr. Warmutt. Hey, Mitch Campbell's with us. He says, hello, what have I missed? Oh, dang, I was talking to you guys. Didn't know I was me. <laughs> yeah, we told, told you. you. <laughs> Come on, man, get with it, Jesus, on the pogo <laughs> stick, man. I rolled a six. So what? For the, so six, so what's that? A four or a clip, whatever I'm looking at? Clip, yes. Yeah, so, so ten for the bods, right? Uh, uh, you roll a six, ten for bods, eleven for your boss. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, then uh, let's go ahead and uh, bring my bring my uh, sunstones back to the X. Okay. Uh, you can pick. They're all gonna make it there. Yeah, they're all gonna make it. Yeah. Just bring them all. Bring them all back. Look at that. He's grabbed three already, not Jay. Oh wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta measure that one. They're twelve. Calm down. They're there. They're good. <laughs> All right, so far it is three to one. That's okay, not Jay will catch up. He's got Simeons. All right. Groot, groot. <laughs> what the heck was that? Obviously, <laughs> you've never uh, uh, read any Gru the Wanderer by Sergio Aragonese. Um, all of his ma monkeys make that noise. Groot, groot. Oh, okay. <laughs> Comic book, Gru okay. the Wanderer. I'm doing a hand over my forehead right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Now, now we go into shooting phase, which there is obviously no shooting. Yeah. Close combat. Obviously, there's no close combat. And results, combat results, nothing. Back to initiative. So if you roll the same number again, oh, crap. There'd be, uh, there'll be another bad things happen card. You better not roll a seven. I rolled a 10. Okay. okay. So add that to your moxie, and whoever has the highest is me. Initiative. Okay. Would you like to be a, a tricky customer? And mm. you want to be <clears throat> I think. Now, relics, I, do, I will have to say relics will have sustaining effects until they are gone. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like some of we're, them will stay there. You know what? We're, we're going to uh, we're going to do a little oh, wait, gamble. Wait, wait, wait. We forgot. What? 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 Or that. Oh, you got to do uh, monkey shines in the middle there. Zachary's Ooh. influence. I like how Zachary shows up in the middle of the board and we both flee back to the X. <laughs> All right. I'm rolling, right? All right, so you're going to roll. Okay, the two that just came down off the hill. All right. Who's the dude in the center there? Oh, that That's is him. Zachary. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For some reason from the other camera, the uh -huh. white thing I thought was Zachary because I thought he was like an abominable <laughs> snowman or some shit. No. All right. All right. I get it. I'm picking up what you're putting down. All right. Uh, the two dudes, uh, the two monkeys that just came down the uh, – the hill, yes. Ooh, one of them. Uh, one of them goes away. All right. So the one that the sunstone is the one that's on the south side. So you need a one four, one through five on the top one, six through ten. The bottom one's going. Six. Okay. So the bottom one's going, and he dropped the sunstone, which is fine because you had a buddy with you. He will pick it right Dude, up. You always go in pairs. That's right. Even to the bathroom. No. Uh, <clears throat> Even right, next two. Uh, they're the ones that just dropped off the sunstone. 
They're good. A five and a nine. All right. The next, um, two. The next two. These two. They're good. Eight and seven. And then yeah, the two yeah, that were uh, flinging poo at each other during the first round. They're fine. A four and a ten. All right. Zachary did not influence any more of the Simeons. He's doing. No, I have a one. question. I have a question. Yes, sir. He's not deceased. Uh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't die unless you kill him. No, 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 no. Oh no, he ran up. My my, my monkey is not <laughs> deceased. That's an important term that needs He's to be placed recruited. here. He's been recruited by Zachary as a another force. So every so next <clears throat> game, what'll happen in the next game? This will be a boss, and these will be his bods. All right. So in the next game, you guys will go against Zachary, not on his influence, but you will fight his mob. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of your, of your guys. So that's how it works. So, Mr. Warmut, right. go ahead and roll for your fellas one at a time, if you don't mind. Okay. Or you can do two at a time. I don't care. Those aren't my fellas. Huh? Those are those are not Jay's fellows, man. No. Are you not? Oh, right? <laughs> those are not Jay's Corlocks. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, actual frog lips. Children, don't do drugs. Uh, seven. Okay, so he's good. Yeah. Next guy back. Five. All right. Good. You're okay. good. Next guy up. Ah, oh, crap. Two. Two. Oh, he influenced another one. Yeah, we're just going to feed him, man. I'm okay. Feed. This one here? Uh, seven. Okay. Next one over. Three. Whoop, three. Here we go. Nope. You're good. One or two is the only one he influences. All right. That's right. We're good then, right? Yeah, because it doesn't affect the boss. No. Yeah. All right. Okay. <sighs> yeah, there was. There was All right. Three. That is Zachary Faze. Now, Nache, you were going to be a tricky customer, correct? That is accurate. Okay. So what would you like to do, sir? We're going to use shining bobbles. Shining bobbles. Okay. What does that do? Roll a D10. The score achieved from the roll reflects which color bobble is used. Red is on a one or a two, a green, a three or a four. A yellow is a five or a six, a blue is seven or eight, and purple is a nine or a ten. The effects of each colored bobble are as follows. The red bobble inflicts two points of unpreventable damage on an enemy boss. Mm -hmm. The green bobble grants two points of tick to Thinking Brow. This may raise his tick above his base stat. <clears throat> the yellow bobble backfires and kills a friendly bod. Uh, the simian player chooses which. The blue bobble activates a double trouble encounter uh, the following turn. <laughs> and the purple bobble transports Thinking Brow to a random location decided by the opposing player. The player in control of Thinking Brow then rolls a d10 and places Thinking Brow that number of inches from the original point chosen. So here we go. I need I need a one or a two here. No, you don't. I got a three. All right. Uh, the yellow bobble. The yellow bobble. Uh, red, green, yellow. Backfires and kills one of my bods. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, which one are you going to choose? Let me get the camera here. <laughs> <laughs> the one with his uh, with the bone raised that was flinging poo at the, during the first turn. This one here. Yes. Okay. So he's gone. This one is eliminated. He is deceased. Correct. Yep. yep. He is deceased. Okay. Again, <laughs> very important distinction on the term. Yes. It is very important. All right. <laughs> So that's your tricky customer, shiny babbles. Now, uh, Warmut, would you like to be a tricky customer this turn? No, I want to move. You want to move? Okay. Can you guys talk about yourself for five seconds? I have to use the restroom. I'll be right five, back. Five, five, four, four, three. You know what? Five. I can press the 30, 30 seconds marker if you want. What?
Yeah, he he's got a, a screen thing that has a thirty second countdown, and we're not supposed to be able to talk to each other. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so anybody that has not watched the final episode of The Mandalorian, oh. you might want to turn your volume down. Oh, man. Because. All right. Holy Jesus Christ. Man. Are you even wearing pants? Huh, the bathroom's yeah. right in my room. You got a bar right there. I, and I knew you were going to start talking Star Wars, so I figured I'd get back here as quick as I could. <laughs> You suck. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, so uh, what we're doing movement now or initiative, initiative move. We did right? that. We, yeah. So he didn't want to do his. No, his I just want to move. Do -da, so I'm going to go ahead and move. Okay. So your move, sir. Uh, I got a three. <laughs> <laughs> I got a rock. <laughs> 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 so right. I'm moving seven and six. All right. Uh, the the <laughs> okay. oh man, uh, we, know you, we know you're recovering. The, the monkey that uh, yeah uh, yeah go ahead and move uh, the leader first. Okay, he can get there. Drop off his uh, sunstone. He banked a sunstone. And then um, he moves. The sun, uh, yep, he moves six. So he will make it. All right. All right, I send two guys out. Okay, as far as they can go towards the uh, sunstone that's out there in the open. Uh, this one here. Correct. Okay. So how far? How 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 far is your movement? Six. All right. <laughs> the, uh, these two guys here. Yep. Okay. So oh, I grabbed another one. So they're gonna move right here because it cost you one inch for the hedge. Was there a okay. like a danger uh, right. radius around Zachary or not? Like four inches around him when he attacks us, or what's that? Was there any kind of a like when, if we how close can we get to Zachary before he attacks us? Or uh, well, he can shoot back at you at eight inches. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But what will happen is Zachary is the last initiative. Okay. So during the shooting phase, if you shoot at him, he will shoot back. Okay. On his turn. He's going to go after you guys. All right. Sorry to interrupt. Sorry. Just let me know. And right. uh, that's within eight inches. If you get within six, uh, he's up a hill. You can't you can't rush up a hill. So um, that's just where he landed. It kind of sucks. All right. Uh, the next two guys, they're going to do an end around and go to that uh, sunstone in the lower uh, left-hand corner. Over here? Yep. So these two guys here? Yeah. Move over that way? Correct. All right. I have to go off mic to move this, so hang on a second. Takes time. Uh, so you want to go full movement is what? How long? Six. Six. Okay. Hang on. All right. And I believe that's the you got one more guy that can move or no? Yeah, no, no, because I've had two one die and one go away. That's right. Okay. Okay. That's your movement. Correct. All right. So warm up. Oh. Oh crap. Uh got four. Okay. Yeah, that means you move nine with your 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 boss and eight with your Yeah, eight, which is probably right. not gonna make you through that uh four. Uh you got a one uh because i got what there's one two there's three of them over there on the cell uh let's uh can so i move I, like i did strategically lay this out to where whatever is on your screen is the edge of the board so there's no way through here unless you go through the woods okay. oh okay all right that's all right crap um is eight inches going how far is eight inches going down towards the edge there not going through the woods, you know, just going. What are you talking about? To that, that far, the, the sun's still on the very bottom there at the edge. No, the other one. Yeah. Yeah. And if I want to go behind the woods there, is that eight inches that way or not? Um, uh, with one of your bods, you would get to here. 
All right, since then I can't I can't move two that way. I just my tape measure just broke. That's what you get for letting it uh, slide in and slap against the edge. You want to move your guy here? Yeah. Can I move two there, or is it just one? Uh, well, you can move two. Be yeah, eight move inches, two. and then the other guy would be right behind him. Yeah, do that. Okay. Now, they have to stay, uh, what is it, uh, nine inches to the... Uh, huh? Twelve inches uh, within radius of... Oh, so it stays 12 no matter what, then. For yes. Me. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, and then uh, take the take one of them, and it's... That covers yeah. the entire woods there, really. Okay. So now what? And, uh, let's take the penalty or whatever and start... Take one of them into the woods or the one in the middle. This guy is your leader? Yeah, the other two over there. You want to take them where? To here? That, yeah, into the wood. Take one okay. into the wood there. Just one. So yeah, just, to the woods is five inches for this guy? Yeah. Okay, it's going to cost you two inches per one inch. Okay. Do whatever to get in there. <coughs> so... How many do you have left? Five. Would you? What's your stat? Uh, it was a four plus. So it was eight. So just three inches left, right? So it'll be actually one inch, right? One inch in. Yep. Yeah. Do one inch in. Okay. And then uh, for the other guy, the hurdle, the fence over there. Okay, he's gonna go this way. Yeah. Okay. How far do you want him to go? Uh, do max. All eight inches. Yeah, all eight inches. Probably the seven inches, because there's a one inch to jump over that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. You're going to keep your leader there? Oh, yeah. He's going to stay right by the AX. All right. Don't need no thievery. Uh, you didn't use Scamper, did you, Nacho? No, you haven't used that yet. I don't know why that was out. Okay. So that's movement. There's no shooting. There's no close combat. There's no results. So let's go back to initiative on another turn. So wait, 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 wait. Does what's his nuts need to do his thing? Dude, Nacho. Uh, Zachary doesn't do that until tricky customer phase. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mitch Campbell says, yeah, I missed a lot because I've been finishing up final exams and mock documents. It is so much fun. Yes. Mini Wormut said something. Mitch said, yeah, especially since this is a law class and it's really okay. And awesome. Okay. Comments are not necessary at this moment. Uh, so roll. Roll. Roll initiative. Ah, I got a 10. I got a 5. Okay, so no double trouble. That's a good thing. Good. So what is the total? Who gets the initiative? Uh, 10 plus 5 is 15 for Gog. 10 plus ten. 4 is 9. Or 5 plus 4 is 9. So Wormont has the initiative this time. Ooh, Finally. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's right. me making that noise. Okay. Guess whose turn it is. Mine, Zachary. Okay, <laughs> you you have one. You have the initiative. So we're gonna start one one die at a time. This guy, five. This guy, ah oh, crap, one. Really? Yeah. Oh no. I'm beating the monster. Yeah, you are. Okay. Now, uh, this guy in the woods. Oh jeez. <laughs> Come on. Two. Oh, you, you're I'm going to lose all my guys to Zachary, man. <laughs> Zachary really likes them. Good grief. Which one do I have now? Uh, this one over here. Oh, and the up five. Okay. Yeah, over the fence. Take them away, too. That's a one. Are you kidding? That's a one. Nache, he is down to his boss and one guy. I win. Yeah. Right? Nah, we can keep going. No. All right, fine. Take my boss. All I'm going to do is go fight the dude. What's going on? It's quiet. Hold on. Oh. Okay. All right. If you kill Zachary, you'll get your guys back. Yeah. We'll have to. Uh, but if you don't, my turn. If you lose all your guys, then uh, game's over. And except for the boss, of course. Yes, it's your turn to roll. So we'll go with the two guys over here by your boss first. 
They're good. A 10 and a 6. All right. The guys over here in the open. They're good. A 3 and a 9. And the guys all the way in the back. Uh, they're good. Uh, a 5 and a 7. Of course. Of course. <laughs> or not. You know why? You know why? Because we're apes, not some dingy, low-level cave dwellers. There is the hero of Groot Groot so far. <laughs> yeah, there's your hero there, not Jay. <laughs> hey, MVP, brother. <laughs> well, so now right. what? So now what? Well, now we go tricky customer. Yeah, now so what? You have the initiative. <clears throat> Would you like to use... What, you can't use your hive mind because you have a minimum mm -hmm. required of four guys. There's only one I could use, but I'm not. There's no sense of using it right now. All right, now Jay, would you? Uh, yes, yes, I would. Oh, good. What are you going to use? Uh, I'm going to use uh, monkey paw. Monkey paw. All right. This I'm relic allows one deceased simian bod to be put back into play anywhere on the map, not in base-to-base -base contact with an oh. enemy. This bod may not be rushed for the rest of the game because of its hideous appearance. <laughs> He's getting placed right on the X. On his X? No, my X. Your X, okay. Actually, no, yeah, his X. You can't put him in on your X. It has to be at least six inches okay. away from you. Then six inches away. Okay. Not the six inches I would have wanted, but, you know. All right, there you go. Now I will say warm up. That that that's I was gonna have him like behind the gate. The gate over here? Okay. Yeah. You can still shoot at him. Cover doesn't matter. As long as you can see I mean, him. Cover doesn't matter. Cover doesn't matter in this okay, game. And he ducks. <laughs> hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey. I can use a hero surge though, right? Not or, this uh, turn. That's is that what you're calling trickery? Yeah, hero surge relic. Yeah. Oh, that's not. I guess. I guess. Don't say okay. Yeah. Not this turn though. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Uh, now it goes to initiative um, for movement. <sighs> That'd be me, right? Yes, sir. Oh well. well let's see. Hmm. I got so many out there. Uh. I can't fight. Can I fight that dude? Yeah, of course you can. You can yeah. shoot at him, but now it's the movement phase. Take the guy in the far south there. Here? Yeah. Or you're okay, this guy? Far All right. south, yeah, he's far south. Mm -hmm. Um move him through there to get that sunstone. Please. Move him where? To get that sunstone on south. Here? There. Yeah. What'd you roll for your movement? Oh crap, what was it? Came up to them. Oh, it was a 10. That's right. I rolled a 10. So it would be 15. 15? Or not 15. It would be, uh, yeah, 15 for Moxie, right? 5 plus uh, 10. For Clip. Oh, Clip? Yeah, yeah. still 15. Oh, yeah. no, 14. Sorry, 14. Okay. I'll get it right. Just Clearly, it you make it to the Sunstone in the forest. Woo-hoo! Okay. And your leader? Oh, you know what he's doing. What is he doing? Is he going to stay hmm. there? Is he going to move? Let's see. I could pick up on pick that little guy over in the fence, or just go after Zachary. Well, he's out of his leader's influence, so he he can't move unless he passes a guts check. Oh, let's go fight Zachary. Okay, so you want to go forward? Yeah, let's go fight him. How far can you move with him? Uh, it'd be fifteen. Fifteen. Uh. You can't really rush him, but you can move right into base contact with him. Just fight him. Let's go fight him. All right. <laughs> Why not? Why not? How dare you? He just pushed him off. <laughs> um, I know I'm probably pretty undermatched here. Whenever we go. <laughs> not necessarily. It's with If Zachary never came out... You guys, you'd still still probably be at full strength. Now, if you defeat him, your guys, your four or five guys would come back. That's the whole idea. You've That's lost five idea. dudes to Zachary. That's the whole idea, man. <laughs> Give me my All back. right, not Jay. Your movement, sir. <clears throat> All right, let me roll for. 
All right. Yeah. Blinding. I mean, just. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm moving at a seven and a six again. Um, <clears throat> I got uh, the two dudes there running for the uh, uh, running for the um, soul, uh, sunstone in the open. Uh huh. Keep on going. Keep on Movement going. of six. Movement of six. I might have to. No, no, the other ones. What? These guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they got it. All right. Um, all right. Yeah, then the other guys. Okay. He's it's, all about, it's all about order of, of operation, brother. Okay. All right. We're going to move uh, the leader. All right. Where's he going? He's going to move uh, to the... Um, <clears throat> to... Kind of in between those two guys. Uh, how far does he move? <coughs> he, move <coughs> he moves seven. Seven. Uh -huh. <coughs> <coughs> right. <coughs> Excuse okay. me. Last two. Um. So my my risen guy, I got a roll for him, and that's a guts check, right? Uh, the one back here in the back. Yeah. Are you not moving those guys? No. Okay. This guy right here is a, a guts of one. You got to get at least an eight or higher, right? Okay. I think it's eight or higher. <clears throat> well. Um, <clears throat> hang on. You gotta, go, you gotta go steal my uh, sunstones. Uh, I believe it's actually a ten. It's under movement, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe I had it and then I lost it. Oh, eleven. It says during movement it is possible to disengage. Never mind. That's on disengage on eleven. Ugh. Um, <coughs> where'd it go, Nache? Um, I have to find it in the rules here. Give me a second, guys. I'm eight or better. better. Eight or better. Yeah, under okay. influence range, followers followers further than twelve okay. inches from the band's character lie beyond his or her influence. Or blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what right you roll? I rolled a seven. Seven. All right. So you do not move. What do you mean I don't move? An eight or better. Seven plus oh, one oh, is oh, eight. eight. Yep. Okay, you move now. <laughs> Sorry. You move six what inches. Do you mean you don't move? If you tell me a number, you ask me what I rolled. Number. I rolled a seven, which so that's going to be uh, a, a one over the a one yeah. inch over the thingy. What's your move? Um, it's, I'm going to be a total six. of five. Five. Okay. Yeah, so because it's six minus one. Yeah. So because of five the edge. won't get you there, but it's next to it. Mother pus buckets. <laughs> All right. So that's your last movement. Um, you know what? Uh, the dude there by the X cur okay. currently is not feeling too threatened. He's going to come out toward uh, the out toward the uh, yeah side. no 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 the the round disc of trees that's got two sunstones on them. This one. Yep. Okay. You can go towards that. All right, so he's going to move five. I'm just going to put him right here. Boom. Okay. And you're going to leave that other guy alone? <coughs> what other guy? There's another guy right here. Oh, he's going to go with him then. Okay. Always go in pairs if you can. All right. That's... Movement. Let's go. So, ranged combat. So, are you? Uh, you're not within eight inches of. No, he's not. Nope. So, <clears throat> now we're going to go into close combat. Okay. So between Gregory and I'm going to roll for Gregory or Zachary. Sorry. And close mm -hmm. combat. It uses the buff stat plus a D10. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to do this right here. So Zachary, oh, crap. his buff is a 
Seven plus four. Uh, eleven. I got an eleven. Yeah. So whatever your buff is on mine's, your leader. Mine's a six. Okay, so roll the die. Oh crap. Ooh, nine. A nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fifteen. Fifteen. So you effectively put a hit. Oh, on I did. Zachary. Oh, cool. <laughs> Okay, so Zachary will roll on the table. Now he has a life of four. <clears throat> four. All right. Sure. So that's that's uh, your round, your initiative of close combat. Nachi doesn't have any, so now Zachary is going to try to slap you back. Uh, so he rolled a ten. Son of a. A seventeen. Oof. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <coughs> and it's all right here where you can see. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Go ahead. Oh. Five. <laughs> Five plus your buff of a six is 11. 11. So you're also going yeah. to have to roll on the chart. Okay? Yeah. All right. So now we go to results phase, and the results chart is very, very simple. Okay? I'll bring this back out to roll for Zachary's result. All right, and let me open to the page. Okay, so Close Combat has one of three results. Uh, what you do is you roll 1d10 and find out what happens. So Zachary's gonna roll, uh, he, he's gonna roll his first. Yeah. So he rolled a nine. Okay. Uh, you laugh in the face of death. Uh, this means the hit has been negated and it has no effect. Therefore, the figure loses no points of health. <laughs> All right. Now you roll yours, sir. I don't want to. Roll it. <laughs> oh, crap. What is it? Two. Two. Uh, <laughs> you cut me. Uh, this means that your figure loses a point of his little health. This means that most bods will be a goner. So you just take this point of health uh, and subtract it from your three tick. So you have one point of damage. Now in the move phase, you can roll to try and disengage. Okay. Uh, yeah. but, you'll, it, but you'll need to roll your guts and get an 11 or better to disengage. But if you want to stay in close combat, that's how it will work. There'll be two rounds. So potentially when you, when you do a close combat on him, you hit him with a tick. And if he does it to you, you can get two damage on him in a turn. If you yeah. keep rolling successfully. So that's how close combat works. It's pretty neat. Pretty simple, too. All right, cool. Now what, sir? All right. Now we are back to initiative, so bad things could possibly happen. Mm. Look at that. Thank you to uh, Bella Ferrone1875. He's now following us on Twitch. Thank you for that. Oh, awesome. Appreciate that. All right. So initiative, not Jay. I I rolled a four. Oh. Okay. Uh, rolled an eight. Oh, okay. no <laughs> double trouble. That's a good thing. All right, all right. So who has the highest initiative? Probably warm out again. Yes. Eight plus five on Moxie. Uh, yeah, it's thir that's thirteen. Um. Four plus seven is 11. So you didn't win by much. Slurpy. Slurpy. All right. So now we got to roll for dear old Zachary. But he's in close combat. So guess what, guys? What? He doesn't have to. He can't persuade anybody if he's fighting somebody. <clears throat> You're so welcome. tricky customer. Warmut, tricky customer. Would you like to be a tricky customer, Warmut? Well, oh, crap. And that dude's got a sunstone. There's a hero surge. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, it's all the hero surge. One successful hit in close combat by Gog this turn also affects another enemy bod anywhere on the board. Chosen by Gog. Yeah, 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 yeah. That could be fun. Yeah, yeah, but I... Some of the guy sitting back here. What is he throwing at me? What's yeah, let's do it, because GM said so. Thanks, GM. All We're right. doing the corner. Oh, what, what, what is he doing? Tell him what you're doing. <laughs> Read the card. Oh, Herod's uh, attack. There you go. One successful hit in close combat 
by Gog, the stud, the hero, the dude, this turn also affects another enemy bot anywhere on the board, not Jay, chosen by me, myself, and I, Gog. The figure must roll on the conflict results table and accept the result rolled. There. All right. There you go. So he used that. Now, what would you, if you would you like to be a tricky customer, not Jay? Do we not have to figure that immediately? Yeah. Uh, no, it says one successful hit in close combat by Gog this turn. So when, when okay. we get to the close combat phase, oh, okay. a successful okay. hit, it'll also put a hit on you. <clears throat> there are steps, sir. <laughs> There's a lot of trash talk between you guys. <laughs> it's fun. <clears throat> oh, we got nine people watching. Thanks, guys, for uh, showing up and watching the game of Savage Core. We're definitely right. going to be We are some, going you know, to. We've used Shiny Bobs. We've used Monkey Paw. We've used Fingers. All you have left is Go Bananas, Scamper Through the Trees, All Seeing Eye. We're going to do Go Bananas. You're going to go Bananas. Yeah. So go Bananas is a. Mob I mean, uh, minimum required smart score of 10. So, so um, Thinking Brow is going to have to roll a six or better to make it activate. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> My minimum required bods is four. I've got that in spades <clears throat> or simians as the case may be. <laughs> and when the simian boss successfully activates the go bananas trick for the duration all simian movement is first calculated normally, then multiplied by four, subject to the usual movement phase dice roll. <coughs> so it's a huge move scene if you can get it off. And if you don't get it off, it, you can still use it, uh, try to get it off again uh, later on in the turn. It does not go away un unsuccessful. So his smarts is four. Mm -hmm. My roll is seven. That's an okay. 11. So now that goes off. And for the rest of the game, I multiply my movement roll by four. I should have played this firsthand. <laughs> okay, it says, <coughs> for the duration of all simian movement is first calculated. So just during this movement. No, it says for the duration. Which for the duration, duration of, of the, the of all simian movement, not duration of the game. It's just for the duration of this one movement. It doesn't say that. It says for the duration of duration all cinnamon. All sim simian movement is first calculated normally, then multiplied by four. Yes, but it doesn't. It's not the duration of the game. This is a one-time use thing, so all it right. goes away at the end of this turn. I, I, I had that same question, and I did confer it with Rick Priestley and Joe Sarek. Right. That that's what they, that means. They, they need to clarify that in the uh, card. Just, just saying. yeah. I, I understand it's been updated. And okay, it, but it, it's it's not on this card. All right, that's fine. I'm so, I'm good with that. Okay. All right. So, we ready for movement? Yep. Uh, Warmut goes first. Yes. Oh, <laughs> so you got one guy with a sunstone over here. Hey, can he pick up more than one sunstone? Oh uh, yeah, he can pick up as many as you want. Um, they're real small, so that's yeah, what she said. Hmm? That's what she said. Yeah. Perfect. Remember, if you're carrying three, that's worth one victory point each. If they're at home, they're worth two victory points each. Oh, I know this guy is eventually going to steal my sunstone daughter. Have him head over towards the other sunstone in front. All right. What's your movement? Oh crap. What was it? <laughs> we, we haven't rolled it yet. We haven't rolled oh, yeah, we it rolled yet. It. All right, yeah. Uh, eight. Okay, so eight plus four, uh, that's 12. Yeah, 12. Okay. So that's... Subtract how much I was there, though. Two inches. Four inches. Six inches. Eight inches. Right there. Right, cool. And you have 12. So... Another two inches will get you to that other sunstone. Okay. Cool. And um, that leaves you with two inches to go. So you have to stop and pick up the sun, sunstone anyway. So, yeah. All right. So that's your movement. Not Jay. Your go bananas. Banana. 
I get to move 32 inches. <laughs> All right, 32 inches. So I have a question. <laughs> yes, sir. <clears throat> does my movement stop when they get to a sunstone to pick it up? Yes, it does. Shoot. <laughs> Unfortunately, it does. That kind of simulates not having to take the action. You know, like, you know, in yeah, Wiley's no, game, I, I you that. have to roll for that. it. Absolutely. You know. Okay, well, we're going to start with the ugly one. The ugly one? Yeah, okay, the right here. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and move that whole inch. Okay. <clears throat> you have to roll a guts. He rolled a 10. Okay, he's good. So he is on, and he is hey, stolen. Bob. Hey, Bob. He is, he is stolen one so far. Now, he has two left. Okay. You stay there, and on your movement, you steal another one. Yep. Or you can move with it. Well, right. Your choice. Okay? <clears throat> All right. Hey, Bob, what's up? So now what I'm going to do mm -hmm. is I'm going to the, the the simian that is farthest to the up, up screen, up on the upside of the... Over here, over here. There. There. Yes. Okay. He is going to move all the way over to keep on going. Oh, up there you go. Here, yeah, there. Okay. So he moves to the sunstone and stops. Yep. Now you're within range <clears throat> into a close combat, but what will happen? Okay, is they're both going to have to roll. Okay, because you're shooting into a close combat that's base to base. Mm -hmm. So they both roll against you. Whoever rolls the lower these two is going to take a hit if there is one. Or I don't have to. That's correct. Or you don't have to shoot. Okay. It's All right. <clears throat> All right. Next, Simeon. Mm -hmm. um, is there a sunstone here? 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 Yeah. Move. Here. Move his buddy. Okay. Up to the sunstone through that little pass in the uh, tree that you just pointed at. Here, right there. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> I'm make that. All right. Um, Simeon, that's standing on the sunstone. Uh, here. Yes. Okay. He's going to move into that copse of trees to, right. to grab that closest sunstone to him. Okay. 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 Uh, mm -hmm. And then his buddy is going to cross through the trees to the uh, sunstone right. center screen. Nope. Center screen. Here? Down down below. All the way down there. There Here. you go. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> um, actually, no. We're going to move him to the exact opposite side of the table. Right here? Yes. Okay. It still should be within 32 inches. Of course it is. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, dude closest to the sunstone down in the lower left. I'm going to move him to grab that sunstone. And then his buddy is going to run to the sunstone that's at the bottom. Here? No. Bot Here? Bottom of the screen. Yeah, we'll yep. Just, on the right. west. west side. <clears throat> now, lastly... I want to <clears throat> move my my boss to the most centralized location possible okay. for all of them. Okay, you have to meet him. Go out there and fight the Zachary. <clears throat> um, so I'm thinking about right, yeah, about actually bring him down, um, down to. The between the two, nope, further south, or uh, not south, but towards the bottom of the screen. Okay, jump to uh, forward from your hand. Nope, other direction. Nope. North. East. Okay, thank you. So I want him to go between the most northerly uh, line of trees and the most and the so and the southerly. A line of trees on the west. Here, 
jump to the north of that row of trees. Here. Correct. Okay. Coordinate J16. Lord. I would have okay. been is, on he, that stuff, though. Uh, is he within 12 inches of the dude in the northwest corner? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay. Is but, he uh, is he within 12 inches <clears throat> of the guy? Two, these two are out. <clears throat> okay. Everybody else is in except, for, is in except for these two. And 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 the risen. And the oh and, and this guy, yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. That's exactly where I want him. Okay. All right. That's your movement. Okay, so now we go into range conflict. So you have uh one, two guys within range of this group, and he's within range through the trees. Now he is going to give a cover bonus, but it's not like it's just minus one uh, to your ranged roll, and it's or a plus one to his ranged roll. Does that make sense? So you're going to roll against each other like you do in close combat, except he's going to get a plus one, you're going to get a minus one. But you have the initiative first, Wormut. Oh, oh. You can <laughs> make a range. You can make a ranged attack with your one lonely guy over here. Through the woods to that other simian over there. That's all. It, well, there's nothing else I can do. Yeah, it's your moxie stat. So yeah. your moxie stat is a three, yeah. and you're rolling against his moxie stat of four. Ooh. But his is actually going to be a five, and yours is going to be a two. Yeah. But if yeah. you're not rolling, what do we always say, Nache? Not playing. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> you know, this game is so interesting because it's so simple, but all these little abilities and the <clears throat> double troubles, uh, the encounters, like the Zachary thing totally destroyed the game. Like it totally okay. broke it, you know, Dude, broke it. It was great. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Uh, I think this, this is a wonderful game. It is. <laughs> it's just awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'm probably going to break out. Uh, this has actually inspired me to paint something. I'm going to break out the uh, uh, Athenians and probably start painting those things. The Atlanteans? Atlanteans, sorry, Atlanteans. I always say they get it wrong. So I'll probably break those out and paint them now. Good. Good. If, you, if you guys like this game, I'll, I'll, love I'll, just, I'll paint up e all the time. Honestly, even if I was in Warmut's position, I would still love this game because it's telling an interesting story. Exactly. That's what I love. No, about. no, he's the guy in the middle. Zachary? Yeah. Yeah. You said exactly. Oh, yeah, exactly. Okay, what do you, what do you want to do, Wormut? Oh, good grief. The dad jokes are just, they have to stop. What do you want to do, Wormut? <laughs> waiting, on, waiting on you. Okay. Oh, I'm listening to you guys talk. So, uh, well, what you can't you? do anything except shoot, right? Yeah. Yeah, if he doesn't do anything, what's the number? In the attack phase, so I hope he can shoot. Well, attack phase, but if I hold back, is the numbers on my side favorable if, if Wayne attacks me? Well, yeah, of course. Well, then I don't want to do anything right there. Okay, well, well, okay, all right. So the numbers are favorable. It's going through cover. So yeah. when, if he shoots at you, he's going to yeah. have a moxie of three instead of four, and you're going to have a moxie of four instead of three if he yeah, shoots but, you but the opposite way you have a two against his five but it's a d10 roll so you could roll higher you could actually hit him and oh. if you're not rolling you're not playing yeah okay but i'm, I'm trying rolling. to hit you <coughs> shoot his ass <laughs> yeah well yeah. shoot me you dumb son of a yeah, but see, this is why I'm different than I guess because I see my uh, streak of ones and twos going because it's shown through Zachary. So going with playing with the odds, the odds are not in my favor of me shooting back. He he if he if he wants to shoot back at you, it's fine. <laughs> but if he misses, nothing that's happens. Right. Let's let's please the game master. Let's uh. If, let's, if no, listen, listen. We're not pleasing. There's no pleasing. I'm just telling you, you want to do it in this game because. If you miss, it's no big deal. You're not going to take a hit because you miss. You see what well, I'm saying? He could, but he can fight. He can shoot back. He can shoot back if you don't shoot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. <clears throat> All right, here we go. And I rolled a two. So a two plus two, that's a four. 
Nache, you already <laughs> rolled above it. So no net no because, no sense in rolling it. Because it's my moxie. My moxie. Yes. I rolled a seven total. Yeah, but but you already had a five. Five was higher than four. I'm I'm aware of that. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not rolling, you're not playing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, All right. Yeah. <laughs> now, now that range conflict for uh, Warmut, uh, Nache, your range conflict. Would you like to fire back with him? Fire into the group with uh, one of your two guys right here. Actually, he can't see him. So those two guys can see this core lock into this fight. If you do shoot, uh, Zachary will roll. So we'll. Um, yeah, he he's not shooting because a one against two is nuts. If it was just one of them, I'd shoot. Well, whoever rolls the higher of the two numbers is the one that's the target. Right, but I'm both saying. of them can shoot at me. No, they're in close combat. They cannot oh, okay. shoot at you. Okay, then I'm going to shoot. Okay, that's what I'm going <clears> to <throat> All right, so we're going to do this monkey here? Yep. All right, so roll, roll a 13. Roll a d10. Uh, I, I rolled a 9 plus 4 is 13. You ready for this? I rolled a 1. You rolled a one. I rolled a five. You rolled the lowest, so it's going to hit you. <clears throat> so you're one against his moxie. What's his moxie? Five. My moxie? No. Um, cor uh, <laughs> so you got a six moxie. What'd you roll? What, what was your total, not Jay? My moxie is um, a four okay, plus you, nine. Okay, so you rolled higher. <clears throat> so you're going to take a hit from shooting. So we're going to use this skull as a hit from shooting on the core lock. Okay. You want to shoot with your other guy? This one's going to be different because he's shooting through woods. Yeah, I'll go ahead. Okay. So my guys are going to get a plus one to their moxie. And our, your, your guy, Warmont's going to get a plus one to his moxie plus the roll. I rolled a nine. What'd Oof. you roll? Uh, five. Okay. So you're going to get hit again. So that doesn't mean you're dead yet. So because you got, you're the one that's getting hit, so you rolled a five plus whatever your moxie plus one. <coughs> so you have a six moxie plus your five. You got an 11. Nache, you rolled? A four plus a four is an eight. Eight, so he rolled higher, so nothing happens. Uh, then we have this over here. Would you like to shoot this over here, Nache? Where? This guy on this guy. Sure, why not? He shot at me. Okay, so he has plus one to his moxie. Uh, it makes it a four, and yours is a three moxie. Mine is a three moxie? Okay, mm -hmm. a ten is my total. Uh, roll your moxie. Three. So he hit you. He hit me? No. Oh. You shot at him, and you hit him because he rolled less. Okay, so that, that's that now close combat. Uh, Zachary? Versus Warmut's big guy. So we're using our buff. And his Zachary's buff is a seven plus a two. So seven, eight, nine. This may be your chance to hit him. Huh? Seven plus seven plus six, thirteen. All right. So you got a hit on I'm uh, using that at heart that tack. Okay. So Zach is going to, uh, it's it's Zach's close combat phase. So Zach's gonna roll oh, against you. Yeah. And he rolled a three this time. Not much better. So he rolled a total of ten. What's your buff plus the roll? Uh, buff is a six plus three. <laughs> nine. So you got a nine and I got a <laughs> ten. Right? Yeah. Okay. So that's going to put a wound on you. Yeah. So now you have two rolls to make during conflict resolution phase, which happens right now because there's no more close combat. So you have two uh, some rolls to make, and Nachi, I think you don't you don't have one, do you? No, 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 you have none. So I'm going to start with Zachary, and then we'll go to Mr. Warmont. So he has a close combat wound, and it is going to be a seven. So his close combat seven is it's all fun and games until someone gets hurt. Uh, this means that the figure is nobbled the next, and the next turn they must roll two dice for all attacks and defenses applying the lowest result. So he's nobbled. You nobbled him. What the heck is that? 
That means that he is he's not wounded. It just means that the next time he has to roll dice, he rolls two dice and takes the lowest. Oh. Okay. That's so this little orange marker is going to mean that he is nobbled. So now go ahead and roll for oh, convict, conflict resolution. You got one on the on the uh, shooting attack. And you got one of the close combat. So let's roll the shooting attack first. And go ahead. Oh. Five. Five. You almost had my eye out. <laughs> Missile whistles past the figure's ear with no damage. We're going to take that away. Now roll for your close combat. Oh, crap. It's a three. Uh-oh. You cut yeah. me. This yeah. means your figure loses a point of tick. This means yeah. that bot, most bots are gone. You still you only have one point of tick life left, uh, Mr. Warmut. Yeah. So, but he's nobbled, so that actually is, could be a potential. When do, I get, when do I get to use that hero surge then? Whatever you want, and during oh, right now you put a hit on him, right? Yeah, that's why I oh. say I want to use that heart attack. Okay, whatever. perfect. So, which one of these bods out here? Would you, you know like which one? one back here? Yeah, oh, perfect. So, he's gonna roll on the close combat. That's right. I forgot about your hero search. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's like me. All right. Uh oh, one more missile attack roll. Oh, <laughs> Don't take him off the board. One. A one? Uh-huh. <laughs> I roll one to twos, man. Go on without me. This means that your figure loses a point of tick. And if it's a bod, he's usually typically. Yeah. Yeah. I roll the ones and twos, pal. <laughs> you need to be more confident. We need to play Beyond Antares, man. That's what we have to play. <laughs> or we can play Space Empires because you gotta roll in that we'll roll low on that one. Which by the way, my son absolutely loves that game. All right, not Jay. Unfortunately, you have a close combat roll to resolve back here. That's fine. What are we doing? What do I got to roll? Roll a D10. A nine? Is that good you or bad? Laugh in the face of death. <clears throat> Dude, he's because he's already been dead. The hit has been negated, and it is, has no effect. Therefore, the figure loses no point of health. Because he's already been dead. He's seen the other side of the veil. Wait, wait, wait. you have to laugh in the face of deer. Uh, <laughs> Ha! There we go. All right. So that is combat resolution. So now we go on to the next turn, which is an initiative roll. And I'm going to tell you something before you guys roll this. Warmut, wow. I had Alex down to one guy. You're talking about Alex, the solo oh, dude. I had him down to one guy left, his boss. <clears throat> he, we got a close, or a uh, uh, double trouble, and it wiped out four of my men. Yeah. And you have one pick. So that could happen. So our initiative roll is Moxie versus Moxie. If you roll the same thing, please tell me. I rolled a four. So nine. I rolled a three. Oh, that was close. Okay. So my uh I'm at a ten. You're at yeah, a 10. He, Jay, not Jay goes first. I didn't know. Okay, so you have the initiative, not Jay. Now, tricky customer, since they're still locked in combat, we do not do Zachary's persuasion. Uh, so, now, Jay, would you like to be a tricky customer this turn? Um, let's see. <clears throat> you know what? We're going to use scamper through the trees. Scamper through the trees. What is that? Please tell us. For one turn, moving through rough terrain does not impair thinking brow's movement. That's just his movement, though. Eh, crap. Yeah, yeah, it's just his movement. Yeah. Um. Now, all seeing eye, the eyeball mechanic is you don't have yeah. to sight. <clears throat> engage in ranged conflict through any terrain. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything. You're not going to do the hero search? Just nah. The I mean, on. there's no sense for him to. Okay. <laughs> and warm up. Would you like to be a tricky customer, sir? Yeah, go ahead and throw a cloak of night on him. Cloak of night? What does yeah. that do? An opposing faction is shrouded in darkness for the duration of this turn. The opposing faction may not take any actions apart from defend themselves. The Corlocks may act as normal. Oh. So I can't move? Can't is that what move. I'm hearing? 
anything but defend yourself. <laughs> All right. So there that's you fine. go. That's that's Cloak of Night's pretty good, I guess. All right, so that's tricky customer. Now you have the initiative for move, Nache. You're back to normal movement. No, I'm not. No, he's not. Because uh, I can't move. <laughs> oh, that's right. So go ahead, warm up. I forgot. <clears throat> I only have one thing to do, man. Okay. Well, that's no movement. Obviously, we'll go through the steps. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So range conflict, nope. Uh, and close combat. That's all that's left between you and Zachary. Yeah. And Zachary has to roll two dice now. Okay, and pick the lowest. So here we go. It's uh, your, your <coughs> buff. So my buff is a seven. So I have to take a three. So I have, oh, a, oh. I have a ten. I rolled a nine. Okay. <sighs> buff is a six, 15. All right. So you win that. You put a hit on him. Mm -hmm. Not Jay. Can't do anything but defend himself. So. Uh, now it's Zachary's turn to fight back, and he still has to roll two, taking the lowest. Uh -huh. Here we go. Uh, he has a one, so he has an eight. And I roll again, right? Mm-hmm. Ah, roll nine again. Okay, so he takes another hit in close combat. He has nine plus his 15. Okay. Well, there's a, there's a positive right there. Now, this is going to go away at the end of the turn, which is combat results right now, because Not Jay can't do anything, if I, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and roll on the chart. Oh, crap. <laughs> For me, you didn't take any damage. So Yeah, I know. Let's see what happens to Zachary. This could potentially knock him out. So uh, he still has to roll two dice on the chart and take the lowest, by the way. Roll one. So here we go. He has to take, for the first hit, a three, which you cut me, and he takes a point of tick. So Zachary takes a wound. He only had, he has four wounds. I'm sorry. And the other one, and it's a two and three. No matter what, he's going to take that second wound. So he only has two wounds left. Yep, go ahead. And you can get your guys back. It, it all depends on what happens here, um, whether he gets his guys back. All right, so that's the end of the turn. Now it's another initiative roll. Let's see mm -hmm. if there is a close encounter of the third kind. Better not be. I roll an eight. That's uh, what, 13? <sighs> I rolled a nine. Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? I rolled a nine. Okay. Is that equal to 13? Or? Oh. All right, who has initiative? I do. Yeah, okay, yeah. tricky customer. Um, sure. Now nah, we're good. Okay. <coughs> Warm up. Uh, you, all, you can only use these once, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah, I don't have any. Corlot bod off the board and oh, add two yeah, new bods to the friendly yeah. baseline. Don't have it. <laughs> yeah, and I have mind, which you don't have it. Don't so, have it. So you don't have anything there. No. Uh, so now we go to movement. Not Jay. Big numbers, no whammy. Stop. Two. <clears throat> exactly, not a big number. <clears throat> All right, movement. Mm -hmm. uh, for my dudes, um, we're going to start with the guys up. Uh, the two that are out of. Well, no. no, 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 orders of operation. All right, we're going to go ahead <clears throat> and the guy in the northwest corner. Okay. There you Let's go. move him. This one here? Yep. Okay. M move him back towards the X in the most expeditious way possible. And what's your movement? Six total? Yeah, six. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Uh, Sir Guy the First says uh, hello and what's going on? Hey, how's it going? We are playing Savage Core. Yes. Um, okay, guy on the west end of the board. Over here. Yep. He's going to move six toward the two uh, toward the, the two sunstones that are just sitting there here. because there's a dead body there. <laughs> so it's actually going to be five inches. So right. He does not get all the way there. No. <clears throat> but he's coming. Lord, he's coming. Okay. All right, now we're going to go ahead and move 
uh, the leader. Okay. Six inches, seven inches, excuse me. Uh, seven inches. Um, no, eight inches. I'm sorry. No. Yeah. Seven inches. <laughs> okay. Oof. Up seven inches. Uh, All right. Do east. This way? Yes. To see if we can get him as close to those other dudes as possible and, uh, st and get him to that sunstone that's sitting right next to him. <clears throat> that definitely gets me within 12 of dude closest to him. You're within that guy in the back too. All right. Outstanding. But he's still out. <clears throat> by what? About an inch? Uh, by several inches. Oh, okay. Uh, four inches. Oh, okay. Well, that that's neither here nor there. So the dude that is able to move freely, he's going to move back towards the X. <clears throat> in the most expeditious way possible. Uh, this guy here? Correct. Okay. Six inches? Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to roll for dude. He needs an eight or better. This guy? So I, <clears throat> oh, that guy. Yeah, I forgot. He's there hiding behind that tree. He can just move. Do his thing. Right here? Yep. <clears throat> All right. And then, yeah, I'm going to roll for dude. He needs an eight or better, so I need a seven on my dice roll. Okay. And he didn't do it. Didn't do it? No. Okay, so he stays there? Just got back here? <clears throat> He's just going to hang out pillaging sunstones. Okay, so he pillaged another one. Uh, but he warm up. Would you like to move? Oh, wait, no. Okay, moving yeah. on. Uh, now for, to uh, uh, range conflict. Not Jay. You have... The boss can't see. This guy is more than eight. He can shoot. Uh, he's not close enough to Zach. You know, he can shoot Zachary, this guy here. Yeah, but then Zachary will shoot him. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, he could. But wait, he's in, wait. No, he's in close combat. He can't. Close, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we're shooting. You're shooting? Okay. And Mox, right? Uh, yeah, Moxie. Yep, and an opposed Moxie roll. <coughs> uh, I got a Moxie. He has a Moxie of one, so I rolled a two. I rolled an 11. All right, he was hit. Which, by the way, is the way to kill him. So, but we live and we learn, Warma. But. All right. He, he only has a moxie of one, Zachary. <clears throat> so, would you like to shoot with your other guy? Uh, you'd be shooting at Orlock and Zachary and split the difference. Sure. Okay. Warm up. Uh, roll a die, please. <clears throat> yeah. Roll a die, add your moxie. <clears throat> oh, six plus five is 11. What'd you roll? I rolled a 10 plus four is 14. Okay, but what did Wormut roll on the natural die? Six plus five is 11. You rolled a six on the die or a five yeah. on the die? Six. Six. Okay, so you're not getting hit. I am. Oh, that's right, guy. Okay. So that's another hit on Zachary. All right. And that's all you have in range. So uh, close combat. Or did we already? No, we didn't do that yet. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Here we go. Mr. Corlock. Oh, what? Add your buff. Here we uh, go. Yeah, finally. Seven, eight, nine. I rolled a zero. A ten. Yeah. So that is going to be a wound for Zachary. This could potentially be uh, the end of Zachary, and the Corlocks could potentially come back, not Jay. Yeah, not Jay. Can I pack you back? I got a 17. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a 7. 7? Yeah. So it's a 13. Yeah. So you're going to take a wound in close combat or hit in close combat. My dick. Huh? All right. Now we're going to roll for the results. Now, this is where I die because I only have one tick. Yeah. Well, you. it's a roll. Okay. So calm down. You'll be all right. <laughs> so we're going to start with uh, – we'll start with the core lock. Go ahead. Roll, roll your die there. Just got out of the way. Uh, five. 
You're good. You almost had my eye out. Shut up. Oh, wait, no, that's range conflict. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you cut me. The Next. Hero is down. Wait. We got to find out what happened to Zachary because your guys could still come back in. How can I come? Oh, oh yeah, he got two. Zachary is dead. Yeah. You'll have to roll a guts check every time they move, but he could come yeah. back. So we got range conflict times two. <clears throat> I mean, we can play it again tonight if you guys like. <sighs> so two rolls, a nine and a three range combat. So nine, he saved three, he gets a hit. So he's going to take one wound for the ranged. Now he's going to roll one die for close combat. A one. He's dead. Who's dead? Zachary's dead. Well, then get my core locks out of there. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> On your over there. Hello. Three. It is not over until it is over. Yeah, All I think so. five of you guys come back. Nache, you have one guy comes back. He comes back on your spawn point. That guy's sitting there freaking pillaging. How many, time, how many times uh, or how many uh, uh, turns does this game go? <laughs> how many turns? Yeah. How many rounds? Yeah, uh, it keeps going until one leader is dead, or all the sunstone is collected. <clears> and one, one, one leader is dead, huh? One leader is dead. Yeah. So game's over. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know why I just thought about that. I told you. But, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. He's all his guys came back. You're right. The leader is dead. Leaders did make me feel even more stupid, assholes. All right, <laughs> nah, you're not stupid. It's so it's, it's late at the end of the game. The core locks ended up going, oh, What the hell happened? And one of the simians, like, Who <laughs> Zachary, Zachary controlled the game. Now, yeah, yeah, exactly. I will tell you now that you know who Zachary is and how he works. Never, ever go into close combat with Zachary. Always shoot his ass. I didn't know. I know, but that's how, that's what I'm saying. That's how you learn the game. So I went in there and gone after him. I took my big guy against him. So uh, we have the uh, we have uh, the ID aliens. We have Project Sturm, which is like, uh, you know, futuristic Nazis. We got the Maxons. We got the uh, Jaguar tribe and the Amazons. And we have another uh, double trouble of the big, huge gorilla that we can use uh, in another game uh, sometime. So victory point-wise, Nache, clearly you've won. Uh, if you'd like me to calculate it up for you, I can. But no, no, no. no. <clears throat> um, but the next game is definitely um, going to be different. Uh, you won't be encountering Zachary with your own dudes. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if you guys are up for it. We can, I can set up another game fairly quickly. I've been up a very long time today. Okay, no problem. So, uh, thank you for the offer. Thank you for tonight's game. Warm up, long distance uh, handshake, good game. Yeah, no problem. It's, it's, it's a good. fun game. What do you guys think? I like I, it. Just say it was a fun game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, talk about it. Let's talk about it. What do you like? What do you hate? <clears throat> I like that there is a complexity in the simplicity. Right. And, and, and what I mean by that is the base rules. If you don't do anything with, with, with the, the get lucky punk cards or whatever they're called. Uh, <clears throat> get lucky punk cards. Yeah, the, Tricky customer cards. Yeah. Them too. Mm -hmm. Even if you do nothing with those, you've got a a very basic game. I mean, it's um, <clears throat> it, it's opposed role, which I like. Um, holy crap! There was another one there. Oh well. Um, <laughs> you. <clears throat> um. I like opposed roles for combat. 
Um, I like that you it's uh, random movement. Yes, I like that too. Um, I like that if you decide to go wild like I did and, and move people oh, all over the place, um, <clears throat> uh, there are consequences. However, I also like that, that those consequences can be mitigated by order of operation. Mm -hmm. You know, I like the fact that I don't have to move my leader first. Yeah. Uh, so I can move him to the most uh, advantageous location for me, setting up a, uh, a, a move later uh, in the turn. <clears throat> <laughs> Zachary is a mean man. <laughs> War mug. Yeah. Zachary Eagles, the mini with purple cape. <laughs> Uh, yeah, here we go. Bellarone, 1875. Good game. You guys are very entertaining, by the way. Well, thank uh, you, Bellarophon, 1875. Uh, who makes the table mat you're using? This one here is the Mixed Ground, I think it's called. It's by Cigar Box Battle Mat. Uh, Cigar Box Battle Mats. Uh, what I have underneath uh, this this other mat right here is a Frontline Gaming one. It is a desert light map. Uh, you can't really see it in the picture. Um, and I also, I, I have several, so, um, that's what that is. Scarbox battle man. So yeah. are you not entertained? <laughs> yeah. Are you not entertained? Apparently they are. are. So, well, here's what I propose. Uh, if you guys are up for it, I'm already married. No. Uh, if you guys are up for it and we can pull it off, uh, maybe tomorrow evening. Again, I'm already married. <laughs> You guys, you guys want to play this again tomorrow evening? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Uh, yeah, I'll say yes for right. Yeah, why not? <clears throat> All right. Uh, uh, maybe we can get some of the other guys in. Yeah, and and I think with more players, <laughs> it has a bigger complexity. Uh, yeah. The double troubles happen anytime. I'm, I, any I can wait. Two people, any two people roll the same number. Do, do they get compounded if three people? Uh, what do you mean? Like if three people do two double troubles come out? No. Okay. So hey. only two people, it's just one double trouble. So if you had four players and two of you rolled the same, it's a double trouble. If three of you rolled the same, it's still a double trouble. Just one. Yeah. The Savage Core rules here, can this go for like, uh, like ancients and stuff like that? Absolutely. Yeah, you just have to come up with stats for them. I mean, it's pretty easy. Uh, you just well, take you it. Yourself, right? just well, I have every card they make for every faction um, from Lucidi, and it's a stack like this thick. Oh, good grief. Okay. Yeah. And what they have in here is they have the ID, which is a alien race, the Project Sturm, the Amazons, cro Magnum Man, and then they have something called the... <laughs> the um, the, uh, the Crow Athenian or Atlantean, the Crow Atlanteans, the Amazon Crow Magnans, yeah. the Neanderthal Crow Magnans. So they have combinations, you know, uh, Neanderthal and Crow and Amazon. So you, they have mixed factions as well All in, right. in this as well. Uh, and the double troubles are are pretty uh, pretty uh, here. I tell you what, I'll give you guys a preview. You're lucky. You're still here. You saw Zachary. Zachary is actually the one that's most common for whatever reason. Every time I play this game, Zachary makes it on the table, especially when there's more people. So what we can do is I can read one of these, and I'll pick one at random, and just to give you guys an idea, one of them is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I will tell you well, that Zachary's right. dead, and he's not returning ever again. <laughs> Uh, yes, he could. So the Usurper Strikes, we can read that one. I, uh, Sunstone, Lost Explorer's Compass, Lost Nazi Treasure Hunter, Seismic Shift, uh, um, Militant T-Rex, Magna magma Overflow. Oh, wait Lost a second. Explorer, Militant T-Rex? <laughs> Pick that one. T -Rex. <laughs> Militant T-Rex, you want me to read that one? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I gotta take my glasses. <laughs> a militant T Rex storms into play. The T Rex crushes all those who are in the line of its movement. That's the next one. It enters the map in the southeast corner and it exits the map through the yeah. northwest corner. When the T Rex enters the map, 
The bods and boss of both factions will have to take a guts roll, a guts mm -hmm. plus D10, and score an eight, uh, over an eight, to determine if you can move, if they can move that turn, or if they are immobilized with fear. The T Rex's movement phase commences after both players' movement phase and will head directly for the northwest corner of the map until it exits the game. If the T-Rex encounters any figures in this way, it moves across the map. Those figures will instantly perish and be eaten by the militant Tyrannosaurus Rex and be removed from play. If the figure enters into ranged conflict with the T-Rex beast, will pursue them and follow... Okay, okay, hold on. If the figure enters into ranged conflict with the T-Rex... Beast will pursue them the following turn until they have been trampled and removed from play before the beast continues to head for the northwest corner of the map. Uh, that's our next game. The T Rex has a clip base stat of a seven movement. Jeez Louise. A kick base stat of a 10. The T Rex may not pick, <clears throat> pick anyone up due to its small hands. So if you shoot at him, he's going to chase you until you're dead. <laughs> nice. And, and if you come into, you know, contact with him. Yes. You're, you're boned also. Uh, exactly. <clears throat> and of course, there's also the, uh, uh, the gorilla, which he actually just comes on to play. And he has his own set of rules. Uh, that I have somewhere, and, and we'll just have to figure it out next game. Maybe he'll show up. Oh, no, we got a TV right going up. So, uh, that is, and we can make some of our own as well, which I have. Um, Alex made one called the uh, the uh, uh, Visit from Another Planet. So it's an alien that randomly shows up on the board, uh, and he will show up in one of the quadrants, and he will attack with a shooting attack. Um you know, of the closest met person in that quadrant. And at the end of the results phase, he goes away. So he comes in during movement and goes away and he keeps coming back till somebody kills him. He only has three tick and he has no movement, but he has, he has a, uh, shoot, a shooting range of eight inches like everybody else, but his moxie is a nine. So he comes in snipes and leaves. So, and I thought that was pretty clever, but, but uh, yeah, so so now that's random though. I mean, you're supposed to set these to the side, mix them up like I did, and draw one at random. Now uh, there's there's also stuff like this, and I do want to read this one because this could completely change the game. And it's the last one I will read. Uh, seismic shift. Uh, a devastating shift in the Earth's core creates a sinkholes throughout the map. One bod from each player, fa uh, player's faction are removed from play. And in a place where they were per where they perished is a circular hole. A uh, circular hole materializes. The sinkhole measures. I can't read this. I got to take my glasses off. Okay. The sinkholes measure in diameter three inches. Any figures caught without these per, uh, uh, caught within these parameters must also be removed from play. Players decide on which of their bods they wish to remove from play. The sinkholes must be navigated around for the rest of the game and are classed as impassable terrain. Uh, this encounter does not affect faction bosses. If the boss is within the affected radius of a sinkhole, it can be moved four inches away from the center of the sinkhole in any direction by the player. So things like that could happen. Which mean you know what that means, don't you? I have to hobby some sinkholes, at least four of them, three inches in diameter. Oh. And that that those flies, I totally forgot about those. I was gonna make <coughs> a four inch by four inch base <coughs> and just put like some stuffing, you know, four inches tall, and then put little permanent marker dots that look like flies. <laughs> 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 so he can have that the flies. I, you know, I forgot how amazingly fun this game is. Hey, Todd said T-Rex. Yeah, he did. I, I really did forget how fun it is. You played the Simeons. You know, the Atlanteans have their own special rule, special rules. So does the ID. So does uh, like the, 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 
the ID aliens have a fake boss. <laughs> so you ha once you defeat hit the boss, all of a sudden you can play that tricky customer card and say, oh, the guy you defeated was actually the fake boss. Here's the real boss. You know, nice. and the card comes out. Uh, they also <laughs> have these really unique <laughs> pieces that are sunstone and at the beginning of the game he has to place one on one corner and one on the opposite <laughs> corner and the aliens can travel from that place to that place uh with the movement so here i'll get it so before the game starts the aliens will set this down on the table this is the sunstone and they'll set one on the opposite side uh from each other right? And he can move from this one to that one as if it's like a warp. Uh, Project Sturm has their own little things. They're real good at shooting. Uh, there's two bosses in the Jaguar tribe. I almost, I almost did the uh, uh, I almost did the Jaguars. Are they fast? Like, uh, No. <laughs> Not necessarily. Oh, really? Those wow. are the guys. Those are the 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 guys that have uh, their shields and uh, you know bone axes and things like that. Uh, wow. There's a sun boss that can take over for the boss uh, if the boss is killed. Uh, the Maxons can turn themselves to gold, and nobody can touch them for a turn. The Amazons are crazy shooty, obviously. Uh, Neanderthals, Cro Magnum men. I still are sitting in the mail. Bob uh, painted them for me, and they're stuck in the mail somewhere. Yours too, huh? Because I've been waiting on a package for quite a while. Yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> I want you guys to choose two different factions right now. Two different? Jaguars and Atlanteans. No, I don't have oh. the Atlanteans painted. Oh, you said two right now, and those are I the two. that I had available that I just uh, You're here. killing me. Okay. The ID, uh, the, the aliens. If you take the aliens, I'm going to have to send you a whole entire page of rules for setup. I'll yeah, no, that's not going to happen. Um, I'm Jaguars and um, Amazons. All right, so before game time, you have to choose between Amazons and Jaguars, and I will get you the cards. Uh, All right. And uh, um, Wormut? Sure. You want to be Maxons? You want to be Project Sturm? The ID? Oh, do Stern. You want to do Project Stern? Yeah. You, okay. All right. The one, you said those are the ones that could shoot well, right? Uh, yeah, they shoot better. They have a better model than most of them. Yeah. yeah. I'm finding out I'm more of a range guy. <laughs> Apparently. Well, now that you, you could hit me once. Now so, that you have an idea how the game works, I will send you the cards for both. Which one of those? You want me to send them for both of those? Yeah, okay. I do. So, so it's Jaguar and Amazon. Amazons. And I'll send you the cards for Project Sturm. You guys decide by uh, tomorrow, and we'll possibly play another live game tomorrow afternoon. Well, okay then. Make a date of it. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll set up a time. It's probably going to be between 3 and 5 p.m. I be, uh, uh, because I, I it may go longer. I had something scheduled at noon tomorrow, but I couldn't do it because I had family stuff and and uh, something was planned for me that I didn't know. So uh, <clears throat> that's all we got, guys. So we'll see you tomorrow. All righty. Guys, got any final thoughts? Uh, Fun. Yeah, try the viewers. You know, set up a list to have viewers pick some too. Uh, you know what? That would be really cool. Yeah. yeah, and then, you know, we randomize it. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. There's an earthquake in Kansas? Really? It happens. <laughs> All right, guys, that was Savage Core Pulp Mayhem. Episode one, so episode two tomorrow. Attack of Zachary. Last but not least, <laughs> from me to you. Hi. Talk to all. <laughs> <laughs>